ultra-powerful explosion happened just outside the Milky Way galaxy, kinda next door in cosmic terms, and it was unlike anything we've witnessed before. The thing kept blasting again and again, shooting out crazy strong bursts of energy called gamma rays. It was almost an entire day of non-stop firing back in July 2025. In gamma ray time, that's basically forever, because normally gamma ray bursts last from a few milliseconds to a few minutes, not hours on end. But the craziest thing is that this phenomenon might be linked to an elusive and mysterious kind of black hole, the existence of which we haven't proven yet. Scientists gave this phenomenon a complex sciency name. Usually, these gamma ray bursts happen when a giant star goes off. One big dramatic exit, and that's it. But this space diva didn't get the memo and kept coming back for encores. NASA's Fermi telescope first spotted this bizarre space performance on July 2nd. But then some other space gear, the Einstein probe, realized it had already been blasting the day before. Scientists tossed around a few guesses. It could have been a massive star, like 40 times the size of our sun, that went out in a special kind of way. Not your average star demise, but one that somehow kept its cosmic engine running. Like a car that won't stop even after the gas runs out. Another theory is even wilder. Some scientists think those space fireworks might have gone off when a star, likely a tiny one called a white dwarf, got shredded by a black hole. It's like a cosmic blender moment. They call it a tidal disruption event, or TDE. You see, not every star goes out with a giant boom like in the movies. Most just get old, puff up, and slowly fade away, leaving behind their tired little cores. Those leftovers are called white dwarfs, star corpses made of super weird squished up gas. You see, what happens to a star when it goes off depends on how big it was when it was born. Stars that start out kind of small, about the same size as the sun or up to 10 times bigger, usually end up as white dwarfs. Most of the time, these stars run out of fuel and blow off their outer layers, creating a glowing cloud called a planetary nebula. What's left behind is the super hot dense core, about the size of Earth. That's the white dwarf. They're still really hot when they form and slowly cool down over time. After billions of years, they might turn into cold, dark, black dwarfs. But the universe isn't old enough for any of those to exist yet. Anyway, let's get back to our investigation. If this second theory is right, the black hole responsible for this cosmic show wasn't a regular one. To pull off something like this, it would need to be a super rare kind of black hole. One of those mysterious intermediate mass black holes scientists have been trying to find forever. Before we move further, let's take a look at the black hole lineup. Small ones are called stellar mass black holes. They're formed when massive stars weighing somewhere between 20 to 100 suns collapse. Supermassive black holes are real space behemoths. They're millions and even billions of times heavier than the sun. They chill at the centers of galaxies. Even our home Milky Way galaxy has one called Sagittarius A star. This black hole is mostly dormant. It absorbs gas or dust only occasionally, but its estimated mass is millions of times that of our sun. There might be one more type of black hole, primordial black holes. Scientists think they might have formed in the very first moments after the birth of the universe. That's when pockets of hot material could be dense enough to form black holes. Their masses might have ranged from 100,000 times less than a paperclip to 100,000 times more than that of the sun. After that, the universe expanded and cooled very fast, and the conditions for forming black holes this way came to an end. These days, 13.8 billion years later, astronomers still haven't found definitive proof that those primordial black holes even existed. On the other hand, it's possible that they could have evaporated as space became older, due to certain processes happening at the edges of their event horizons, aka the points of no return. According to theoretical predictions, lower mass black holes with less mass than a mountain 
could evaporate more quickly than larger ones. If this idea is correct, then many of those early black holes have already completely dissipated. But more massive primordial black holes could still be lingering across the universe. Anyway, if we get back to the already proven kinds of black holes between stellar-sized black holes and supermassive ones, there are elusive intermediate mass black holes. Scientists think they exist, but they're like Bigfoot. Lots of theories, not much proof. Astronomers think that small black holes might crash into each other and merge over time to form those medium ones, but spotting one is almost impossible. They're sneaky and silent. People often tend to mistake them for star graveyards, clusters of smaller black holes just hanging out. Sometimes, intermediate mass black holes even hide behind groups of stars that orbit them real close. The best way to catch such a black hole is to look for clues. Scientists measure the mass of black holes when they crash into each other or spot them mid-meal when they're munching on a nearby star. So far, around 300 possible intermediate mass black holes have been found, but no one is totally sure which ones are the real deal. And now, astronomers think they've finally caught this super rare missing link black hole. Right now, it might be snacking on a poor star way out at the edge of some distant galaxy. In a study published on April 11, 2025, scientists talk about a black hole called HLX-1. It's hanging out about 40,000 light years from the center of its galaxy and roughly 450 million light years away from us. Using data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, the team spotted a bright flash, that very tidal disruption event that occurs when a black hole tears a nearby star to pieces. Then they ran computer simulations to recreate the whole thing, and it showed HLX-1 stretching the poor star like space spaghetti. By the way, this process is indeed called spaghettification. Astronomers have their own cosmic jokes, you know? Anyway, scientists first spotted something weird going on with HLX-1 back in 2009. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory caught a super bright glow coming from deep space. Turns out, it could have been another tidal disruption event. The glow from HLX-1 hits its peak around 2012, and it's been fading ever since. But of course, there's a catch. Nobody's totally sure it's a real intermediate mass black hole. You see, that light might not be from a shredded star at all. It could be from an accretion disk, a giant, super-hot ring of gas and dust swirling around the black hole's edges. And the only way to figure out what's really going on is to keep watching. If the light keeps fading and doesn't flare back up, then yeah, that poor star probably got eaten. Intermediate mass black holes are a big deal because they're the missing link in the black hole family tree the connect-the-dots piece in understanding how black holes grow up. There's also an idea that intermediate mass black holes might start out as big stellar mass black holes and just keep bulking up over billions of years until they become those massive city-sized monsters at galaxy centers. That means most of their lives, they're probably lurking way out on the galaxy's edge. Like HLX-1, before they get launched into deep space. And now, some scientists think there could be a sneaky intermediate mass black hole hanging out on the outskirts of our Milky Way right at this moment. Even if there isn't, the research team is still keeping an eye on what's happening after that blast and trying to piece together what in the universe actually caused it. Next up on their to-do list is figuring out exactly where it happened. Once they pin down the location, they'll be able to measure just how much cosmic energy this thing pumped out and how big the explosion really was. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.